I'm undecided. I'm undecided. Would you be willing to pay more if it meant kids were safer on the school bus? Well, lawmakers are planning to discuss that possibility after the Griffith boys basketball team was involved in a rollover bus crash a couple of weeks ago. News 18's Kayla Sullivan looked into how much it would cost and what other possibilities are under consideration. When your kids go on the school bus, what are your expectations? Um, I just hope that they have a safe ride to school. Carol Culver says if school buses had seat belts, she would feel more confident about that. I would, I would, um, from the incidents happened before. She's talking about a bus crash that happened just a couple of weeks ago. The Griffith boys basketball team's bus flipped on its side on I-65. And although they all survived the crash, the incident inspired lawmakers to plan a study about seatbelts on school buses. It is something that we have been looking at for 20 years. And, uh, you know, I, I think, again, that our challenge has always been uh, the dollars. Seatbelts would cost school corporations ten to $12,000 per bus. And although Culver says she would feel much safer with seatbelts, she isn't sure she'd be willing to pay for it. I'm undecided. I'm undecided. And so are legislators. Alting isn't sure what should be done. Who's going to pay for this? Is it best for it to come from the national level and make it a mandate that all school buses in production in the uh, manufacturing plants must come equipped with school uh, bus uh, seat belts? Alting says that's probably the best approach, but they would have to make sure it's done in an economic way. He's glad the state is studying the issue, but says they shouldn't mandate school corporations to get seatbelts until they've figured out how to fund it. Kayla Sullivan, News 18.